Okay, so I have a directory with text grids and corresponding wave files in them. And what I want to do is measure mean F0 and standard deviation of F0 over labeled intervals in some tier in the text grid. So that is what this script does, collect F0 data from files intervals.prot. So let's crack it open. So we go into prot and read from file. Let's check it out. Uh, we are here. Here's the script. Let's take a look at it. Um, I didn't make um, a separate set of comments for describing what you need to put in here, but the comments are actually in the form itself. So you can see the first thing we need to tell it is where the directory of sound files, where that directory is. We also need to tell it where the directory of text grid files is. For us right now, that's actually the same um, directory. So let's go ahead and fill those in. So let's go to our directory with the WAV files and text grid files. Now if I click on any of these files, right click and say get info, let me grab the file path here for these. I'm doing command C to copy and let's paste that in here for where the sound files are. And don't forget that forward slash, there's the forward slash. And I can copy the exact same thing for the text grids because they're both, both the text grids and the audio files are both in the same directory. So there, that's done. Um, we also sound file extension dot wave that's fine. Um, text grid file extension dot text grid that's fine. And then finally, we need to tell uh, where do we want us where do we want the output file to be saved and what do we want that file name to be. So um, it is not a good idea to save that output file in the same directory with with all your text grids and audio files. So I'm going to get go ahead and save it in the directory above that. Also, that's where the script happens to be. So if to grab that directory path, I can right click on a file in that directory, in this case, the prot script, click on get info, go to where, and command C to copy that. Um, and then I can type that in here, but I'm not quite done. Because remember, this is actually the full path of the resulting text file, so I don't need just the directory path, but also the full file name. So let's put forward slash and let's call it f0 log dot text txt. Okay, finally, which tier do you want to analyze? Um, so we need to specify the tier name, um, and let's say that that's words, and then we have a bunch of various parameters we can have for how we want to do the F0 analysis here. Um, we'll learn more about that later, but for now, the defaults that I've set should be okay. So at this point, I think we're ready to go. Um, I could go ahead and say file save so that I can save all these paths that I put in and the file names and everything. And if I run, something should happen. So if I click on run, this big old form filled in with all those values. Click on OK, and whoa, something happened. Um, so to see if something happened, you can see indeed now I'm back in the directory where I specified I wanted to save the output file, and f0log.txt has appeared. I can double click on it to open it, and look at this. So we have for a particular file name, we have a label it, so this is from the words tier, as I specified, and we have for that word the mean F0 and the standard deviation in F0 over it. So there you go, that's the output of collect F0 data from files intervals.prod.